aircraft, uh, Ohio could stay checked out. This is a two-seater aircraft. for uh, probably about 15 years, uh, primarily in the 60s. That was at the air show center where you can see Frankie the Crane standing up, ready to move. Now, the aircraft is not really high powered. It has none of the power that you're going to see here later. The Crane's got the airplane, got a lot of smash built up as he went out and come back in. And it starts out with a horizontal with a five inch loop. Go 45 degree down line. Roll it back to the right way and do it again on the other side. It was on November 8th of 1950 that the first jet versus jet air and combat took place between the P-80 shooting star and the MiG-15 in the area of Northwest Korea, later on as MiG Allen. Several days prior to the fateful day, MiG-15 jets have been encountered a U.S. Air Force FP-51D. Remember that is a P-51 on patrol near the Yellow River. On the afternoon of 8 November, Lieutenant Russell Brown piloting his shooting star with the 16th Fighter Squadron outmaneuvered. It was the first of 827 MiGs to be shot down in Korea and the first jet to jet in Korea. Units in Korea also used the TF-80C of the T-33 and the RF-80. An aircraft that you saw in every Air Force base, being there to, to maintain the currency of many of the staff members. And right now, Greg is coming by and giving us a demonstration of this capability of this airplane and the pilot. Unusual features of the P-33 and the P-80 is that it was the first aircraft to have hydraulically boosted ailerons because of its high speed. The ailerons were overpowering the pilot. You couldn't fly them with the Armstrong method. So they went to a system of hydraulically boosted or power stirring for the aircraft. 